last week we did a Gen 4 track guy, but we're back to the regular A Cup Car. And we're at Coda, one of the, my most hated tracks. I just I just don't like this place. Terrible here, but we'll try to get a lap, I guess. And go from there and Yeah, get back to kinda of how things used to be with the keys to the race card. Number one. I would say tires, but this is kind of the opposite reason. Burn them into the ground. Just run them hard and you'll probably not see any fall off. In lap times at least. Uh, two would be everything's relying on brakes. If you can hold the high brake pressure, that might be a good, a good thing in the brake zones because you're going from really high speeds down to really, really low speeds because, well, that's how this track is. And one good finish makes people think it's a good track. But anyways, uh, number three, I guess, would be pit road's a little wonky. Not too difficult. Off tracks. Off tracks are a nuisance. They're in places they shouldn't be. And that's pretty much it. So we'll get to pit road. And we'll break down the lap, because it's probably going to be a long one. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to make our way to pit road. Do that second to last corner like normal. We're looking at the final corner. Break pretty hard. Get as close to the guardrail, but not too close like I did, because I'm pretty sure I smacked it. Let me slow-mo, because there's your yellow cone. I locked up a little bit there. Keep myself from speeding. Let me speed that up, because it takes three years. There's your exit cone. For speed limit at least. And your blue cone is right there where you can safely merge. Alright, so you can see on my left there's a gear number. Show second gear. And there's a little track map. There might be something to, you know, you can watch the lap and then come back to it to see some more stuff. Obviously I'll break it down into, you know, segment into corner by corner and we'll go from there but first fix setup fix weather here's the thing though there seems to be a little bit of rng when it comes to weather you don't know what that means uh let's just say it's random this is fixed and i reloaded like three separate sessions under the a fixed you know test car on track thing which should give you the same weather every time but one time I had a 116 track temp, which is what this is, and a 100 track temp. Now I went and looked and see if it was just me making a mistake to the open, but no, that's just, that was a fix. It, there's just some RNG involved, so keep that in mind so these lap times can fluctuate from 212 zeros, maybe 211s from the super fast guys, all the way to what you see, you know, 214s. This one's a 213 something, so don't get your hopes up that it's a alien lab, because it's not. So anyways, enough of that rambling. Let me put up on screen what my settings were, because I changed a lot. You know, and the adjustable stuff, so steering ratio and all that. You'll see it. So let's just, uh, this is the last corner. I think I left it in second gear, which is something that'll come up. So anyways, we get a good launch out of four and we'll uh, begin this lap. So let's see how it was done and then we'll break it down.
And there we have it for a 213.8 or something like that. All right, so you can see there was a little hiccup in the S's and some other uh, missed corners, but chain it all together and you'll put down a better left than that. So we're going back to the exit of the final corner. You can see I'm in second gear, but at the finish of the lap, I was in first. This was just my run up to the thing. I probably could have done a little bit better if I used first gear, but there's this a fine line of wheel spin and grip. So you want to set up everything like every other track, the exit of the last corner. So let's just play this up until turn one, and then I'll slow my over and go to you know all the stuff. So here we go. You can keep an eye on the shifting. We're going to be at the fourth gear by the end of the straight. Should red line to where you want it. And then that's where we make our approach. So let me pause it here. You can see. You see that little section over there? That's kind of what I'm looking at. I mean, it basically comes out of view, which would more than likely be somewhere like right here. All right, just make that connection. That's where I'm getting pretty hard on the brakes, and normally you would follow this little arch, right? But we're going to keep it straight. That's to maximize braking and to set yourself up for the corner. But there's something that needs to be said about turn one. Let me really slow-mo it so you can kind of see. I'm going to downshift right there. And again, we'll go to second gear and, you know, all the way down to first. Now I'm going to pause it right as I start to turn in, which is right here. Now here's the thing about arcing it out too far. There seems to be a little bit of banking the more inward you go. But if you go straight for that, it'll kill the center. And then, you know, your exit will be compromised. So that's why we're staying out wide. But you can see in this situation we're turning in. Right about now, any later, we'll probably miss the corner any earlier, and it'll be too tight of an entry. So let me continue to slow mo. Then I start to turn in while releasing the brake a little bit. We're going to let it roll to the center of the corner, which you can see how tight these corners really are. There's the center right there. It's, almost, it's past the, it's like a 180 at this point. Now, normally you would track out all the way, but try to keep it to the left. You want to make it straight so you have a straight launch to the outside part of this next corner, which you see there. So let's proceed. We're going to shift a second. Let me slow-mo again. We're going to get right alongside this curve, not really touch it. Then I'm going to shift to third as I'm making the right-hand turn. You can see, once I get to the apex, I can pretty much stand in the throttle, as long as it's in third gear. And again, normally you would arc out to the right side of Echo Park. You know where it says that right there? But I'm going for the middle one there. I'm kind of aiming right for this particular, you know, instance. I guess I could have done that better, but this one. So again, I have to slow-mo again because this is a complicated section. You can still see on the track map where we are. Let me really slow-mo it. So I'm aiming for that first pyramid curb while lifting and getting on the brakes right at this point. Then I'm going to downshift where that's what almost, that almost killed me. I did it in the wrong spot. I got really close to that pyramid. I actually hit it a little bit and you can see what it did there. I'm actually going to rewind that. All right, you can see these little yellow bastards and you don't really want to hit them because you can see when I hit it there. I'm turning right, but the car did not respond because it wasn't in contact with the ground. Either way, the whole thing of the S's, you want to get it all good from the start. Because if you screw it up, it'll ruin the entire run of corners. But you also want to get as close to these yellow monsters as possible. And you can still keep no, the throttle and everything by looking at that thing. So we're going to speed it up a little bit. Just run at normal speed. Now here, we're going to try sitting up to the right. Easier said than done. Because you want to carry a lot of speed, but you also want to set up for the next corner. So that's kind of hard to manage. So we're going to go to the right as much as possible before forcing it that way. 
Then we're going to get on the brakes a little bit. Then let it roll to the center of that corner as close to that pyramid as possible. Then we're going to still keep it. We're going to try to keep it in the left some more. Then here we're going to basically do the same thing with the last corner. Try to get left. But if you can't, don't worry about it. You want to basically have your right side wheels right on the white line there. Any further, it'll count as a 1x. Any less, and you'll lose a little bit of time. And you can already see, this is like a game of pool, you know. You're always setting up the next shot. In this case, you're setting up the next corner. Let me slow-mo that again. Same thing, Apex. Throttle out here. You want to be careful because it does want to step out a little bit. And here's another section I define as one of the toughest is because you can't see it until you're on it. You pretty much just take that like any other corner of the car. Gets really on edge here. You just got to drive through it. I don't think I lifted. That brings us to this brake zone, which I have to pause again because I need some explaining. You see this white line sort of right here. Assuming it's not obscured. Or you can see the shadow, but going off a of shadow is not the greatest idea because they can move on you. So basically right here is where I'm getting hard on the brakes. And we're doing the same thing that we did in turn one. Keep it straight for as long as possible. So I'm going to slow-mo it right here. Hard on the brakes. We're going to downshift. Downshift again. And you kind of want to wait on the second or first gear downshift because of how separated they are. But you can see once I start turning in, it's way late into the corner. And we're still going to try to attempt to make the apex. I miss it by a... Uh, Half a car is what it seems like. And now from here on, center off, it wants to snap a little bit, so be ready for it. And you'll see it here. I'm just going to play it at a normal speed. See how it just kept rotating? You'll probably feel it more while driving, but... Yeah, all the way up, through the gears, all the way to fifth, into the fastest part of the track. And here's where we're going to pause it again. So I'm looking to the right for this, damn it, this, you know, this whole section. Well, I guess I could have done a better job on that. <laughs> this. And I think this little thing here, that's kind of what I'm looking at. I could have swore it was a marker of some sort, but I guess I messed that up. Let me slow-mo it again. Really bad here. So there's that thingy, there's that 200, and then I'm breaking pretty hard right when I see that. I probably did before, but to me, that's what I'm doing. And again, same thing, all the way down to first gear, keep it straight. I'm actually going too slow here. You know, hit the apex like normal. Everything's the same as the other two, you know, super tight corners. Hit the curb a little bit, something you don't really want to do with a fixed end because it cannot absorb bumps whatsoever. So anyways, we're doing sort of what we did in turn one. We're trying, we're going to try to keep it left. I swear they just copy and paste this shit. So first gear to second. And here you have an option. You can see I'm on the brakes relatively early. Then you have another shot at that because there's a lot going on and I don't even know what I'm doing. So let me slow-mo it, then we'll pause it the minute I get on the brakes. So right here is where I'm getting on the brakes. There's really nothing to judge it off of, but you see that orange section there at the way end of this wall. So I'm going to slow-mo it. You can see I'm in second gear. You have a choice to go down to first. Some guys were going down to first and then second from the apex out of the right-hander. But I'm just leaving it in a second. When you do that, you got to use just a little bit more brake because you're not getting help from the engine. And you turn in once the car's straight. We're aiming for that yellow curb, but we're not going to hit it. You just want to get really close to it. Keep it right. I kind of drifted out a little bit. I'm at the car's front end. Limit is what it seems like because it refused to respond. And we're aiming for this little dark red section of this. Any more to the right, and it will count as an off track. If you know what I'm talking about, this little part. So again, slow-mo. You want to keep it to the left here. Kind of follow the rubber, but here's where we're going to make a little difference. We're aiming for that first curb right here to the inside. 
but then you want to straighten up down to first gear. Kind of go out, sort of like a double apex, double diamond thing going on and aim right for that part of the curb anymore and it'll bounce, costing you lap time. Too little and you won't make the corner. So power out, second gear, into second gear I should say. And here you want to keep it tight. You know, as close to the, as close to the curbing as possible. All right. So we're going to keep it in second up until we start this next part of right handers. I'm going to shift to third right here at this curb exit. And I keep it to the inside, keep it to the inside. You can start using a lot more throttle here because the car wants to grip up, but not too much or you'll start to do that. Don't cut too much of that curb because it will count as a one X. And here's another confusing section that I have no reference for. But I'm already on the brakes as I'm pointed straight towards that little pavilion thing, wherever the fuck this is. So I'm braking straight until I'm alongside that curbing. Then I'm going to start turning in. And here's another kind of semi-blind corner. You're aiming for that yellow curb, too much of it, and it'll count as a 1x. You can see how I hit it there. And here's another very important part. This green, this whole section. Going out there will count as a 1x. Even if you get half a tire off, it'll count as a 1x. Everything's a goddamn 1x. It brings us to the last corner. I'm going to slow-mo again because we're looking right here and under the sign. You're going to probably hit the lim limiter, but you see where the shadow is. But we don't want to use shadows as we established earlier. But we're looking at this. If you see blinking, that's because of the rev limiter. So, that's where I'm going to start braking when I come into contact with that. I have to really slow mo this because we're going to brake hard as usual. And I'm going to downshift the first right around this white line right there. Try to keep it more out here and then turn it in. I kind of turned in a little bit too early. And then just aim for your apex and then power out. Careful because you get wheel spin. Shift to second and there you go. All right, that's it for this track guide. Hopefully it helped in some way or another. Again, that's really all this channel. It's about average driver helping out the average driver. I'm not as fast as some of those fast guys, which are insane. But hopefully it was enough to learn something. And I'll be back at the next track that we do. As well as I think tomorrow I'll have a Gen 4 Try guide for that car. Anyway, sim racing chewy side.